സെന്റ് ശ്രീ ജ്ഞാനേശ്വര ആൻഡ് സെന്റ് ശ്രീ തുക്കാറാം ഇൻഡോമെന്റ് ലൈക്ചർ സീരീസ് ആൻഡ് ഓറിയന്റേഷൻ വർക്ക്ഷോപ്പ് എമിനന്റ് പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റീസ് ഫ്രോം വേരിയസ് ഫീൽഡ്സ് വിൽ പ്രസന്റ് ഓൺ ദിസ് അക്കേഷൻ ദി ഷെയർ ദർ വാല്യൂബിൾ തോട്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻസൈറ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഗൈഡഡ് പീപ്പിൾ ഓൺ വെറൈറ്റി ഓഫ് ടോപ്പിക്സ് യു നോ വിത്ത് ദ ഗൂഗിൾസ് റീസെന്റ് റിലീസ് യു കാൻ റിമൂവ് എ പേഴ്സൺ ഫ്രോം ദ ഫോട്ടോ ഓക്കെ or you can stitch you can take multiple photos and find out where each one is smiling and they are all put together and so you get one photo where everyone is smiling because you always you know have this frustration where one person is not smiling uh, another person is smiling so you now get the perfect photo but is that the truth so is that the true picture which actually happened are you capturing a true uh, experience of what happened with all the flaws or is it some manufactured reality that you are creating for yourself so uh, it is not it need not be that's what i want to say is you know it a truth is not harmed just by all these deep fake videos and deep fake audio audios it is also harmed in some sense by all the photos that we take now all of us you know adjust the color balance uh, to make castles look better in a video so again you are altering the uh, true picture isn't it so any photoshopping that you do you are altering the uh, true uh, reality so wh- what is truth will become you know that truth will be the casualty of this age of ai that's going to be a problem now let me come to uh, a more provocative um, you know a part will uh, ai create a new religion so this is again been speculated uh, by people because uh, if you look at it uh, ai has many features which are very similar to what religions have because you know you have this famous saying that god works in mysterious ways you know which tells you that not everything you want happens when you want it there are, you know things which happen for a reason and that's the way it's done but uh, a artificial intelligence also nobody not even the people who created them know how it works so it again works in mysterious ways and it also provides if you look at these chatbots they also provide like the oracle uh, of delphi uh, in the greek mythology they provide definitive answers to any question like you know religions do so there is if you earlier we used to do google search you had a bunch of links you had to go through all the links and then you would use your judgment to see which one is the best answer uh, maybe something which suits you maybe but still you had the choice of going through multiple links and trying to choose but now as more and more people rely on uh, these chatbots then they are the chatbots give one answer and you take that as a definitive answer that is again something which is uh, very akin to what religion does where for every question there is a definitive answer okay one answer that is the truth okay so now more and more people for example there was a, one of the authors talked about his child who came back and said oh i am going to talk to god today what question should i ask him when uh, the author investigated it found out that there is a chatbot which mimics god i mean it's called um, and then the child thinks uh, you know he is talking to god and wants to find out what uh, what questions you should ask god so that is what uh, we are coming to um, and uh, i think there uh, you see is uh, these are the things because some of the other elements like immortality i mean ai in some sense has no death it's an immortal presence if you have it and it also once if and when nobody knows whether it's going to happen if you have artificial general intelligence or even more uh, you know disturbingly singularity uh, then you may have an artificial intelligence which is much more intelligent than any of us then uh, you have something which gives you very definitive answers which is more powerful than you okay and uh, it is uh, it, it has no experience of death it is present everywhere in the world it can through networks it can spread all over then uh, wouldn't people start thinking of ai as god at some point and uh, start a new religion around ai so this is something which again is very disturbing you know for uh, us human beings where you know especially for those who are very spiritual 
Uh, but there again, I should point out there are contradictions. Uh, there was a recent paper in uh, Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences where they looked at people. There's a large study which looked at people who would, uh, who are more prone to accept the uh, decisions made by AI, you know, whether it is for uh, watching a movie or anything else, uh, or healthcare decisions and so on. It turns out in that experiment, those who are thinking of God, so some people are given cues to think about God, okay, and other set were in the control group, they were not, they were given uh, no such cues. So in the group that were given cues about uh, God, which they prompted them to think about God, those were the people who were more ready to accept the uh, decisions proposed by AI systems, uh, decision systems. So there's a very, you know, subtle connection between all these concepts. And uh, so it's very interesting and maybe very scary to think where we are headed towards. Maybe it's all overblown. Uh, I mean, uh, maybe none of this will come to pass. But you already have people, as I said, like that young child who thinks, you know, he's talking to God, that many of these spend hours together uh, talking to the, uh, these chatbots. In fact, now uh, a Michigan professor has coined uh, a new term called Godbots. You know, these Godbots, uh, like Ask Delphi is one such example. So where, you know, they start giving advice on morality, moral uh, things and so on. Again, you get only one answer and many people, given all this uncertainty, so many choices that we face in our world, many people want that certainty, you know, give me one answer. I don't want to look at everything and take a decision on my own. Give me one answer. I'm happy with that. So in such cases, you have this experience which is coming more and more and uh, some of the things which people are attempting and then taking at face value is carry because one group at MIT created this um, uh, you know, moral machine project where uh, you know you know with these uh, autonomous cars there are many of these moral decisions to be taken as autonomous cars become more and more prevalent for example you are headed towards it and it is inevitable that you have to have an accident and there are uh, you know a group of young children crossing the road so there are two choices the autonomous car faces one is to crash into the children and kill them or to veer off to one side and kill the occupants of the car so what would you do because now the autonomous car is, has to make a decision okay so what would be the decision that the autonomous car would make now this group which created the moral uh, you know machine project polled all the people, you know, they just did a crowdsourcing, got opinions and gave answers, you know, to each of these questions. But that again is dangerous because the people who answer are all a biased sample, those who are more tuned to these uh, machines and AI systems and so on. So you have things uh, being decided by a group of what is moral, what is not moral uh, by uh, by a bunch of people who may not represent the true wisdom uh, that the world has accumulated. So with these words, maybe, you know, um, uh, let me stop. And I'm saying, um, especially about uh, religion and AI, it's, uh, it's given the topic of uh, these endowment series, that may be something worth, you know, exploring going forward. You know, people, very famous philosophers like Harari have started talking about it. Uh, what is going to be the implication of AI on, uh, you know, creating new religions where AI is the god, you know. So these are uh, things which can be very disturbing uh, to all of us and which can really affect us uh, going forward. So we all need to debate them. Uh, some of the debates uh, will not be pleasant, but we still have to have these debates and uh, try to see how we uh, tackle these issues going forward.